In preparation to watch the new Alien movie, I have been watching the old Alien movies. And while watching these, I have noticed that the title sequences are just so cool. They're so simple, but they're so cool, and today, we're going to try to make one ourselves. So let's do that. <clears throat> First order of business, though, we need a super dorky shot to put the title over. We may just use some stock stars, but I, I want to try something really quick just to just let me indulge myself. And I'm going to need to move you. Super dark. Okay, blocked it out. Let's see how this looks. All right, my dorky daddies, let's do this. I know none of you care, but I'm, I'm so annoyed. This is actually the second time I've recorded this because the first time I had a big old hunk of snot hanging out of my nose and I didn't notice it. <laughs> Now, in general, this effect is pretty darn simple. Like, this isn't a super complicated graphic we are making here, and I am going to do it in both Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve, so go down to the little timestamps if you only care about one of those. You're welcome. To kick things off, we're gonna start in Final Cut Pro, so we've got a new timeline opened up. Let's first put a black background for us to work with, and then let's go up to Titles and let's search for Custom Title drag that down onto the timeline and really i don't know exactly what font they use for the alien titles but let's type in alien oops not capitalized alien and i have a font that i like that looks kind of like the original covenant and uh alien font which Sorry, I did realize like all of these title sequences are slightly different. We're mostly going to be making the original Alien and Covenant type titles. Prometheus kind of did it a little bit as well where it's really blocky text sort of coming on. I'll show it on the screen here, but I have a font that I really like called Play Pretend. So this is going to be the one that we use that's kind of like it. It's kind of sci-fi. It's not exactly the same, but it's going to work for what we need to do. The other big important part we need to do here is increase the tracking. The Alien movies have the title like spread out across the whole thing. Um, and yeah, I think we're off to a great start here. So first order of business. So let's go to masks and keying and get a draw mask. Now with this, we're then going to draw on a mask because we want to only do part of each of the letters as we work. And when you draw a mask in Final Cut, it keeps what's on the inside. So we're going to invert this and just keep what's on the outside. And we're going to try to line that up as perfectly as we can with, you know, the vertical pillar of the A, which that's looking pretty darn good. Next thing, we are going to duplicate that custom text. We're going to make it so that it comes in a little bit later. And we are going to uninvert the mask and then move these points. So again, we're just starting with the A. So I just want to see the A. We'll do the rest of the letters later and probably not show it in this video because it's gonna be redundant. Now on this text, we'll go up to the inspector. Let's go to face and let's change this to a nice teal turquoise color. That looks really nice. And let's turn on glow. In Final Cut, glow by default is always kind of this yellowy color, so we'll do the same turquoise color, and let's increase the blur and the radius, and that's looking pretty good. I might turn the radius down just a smidge, and let's change our mask to sort of just fit where we want it to be. So we're gonna add a couple of points here and make this look just a smidge more natural and fit on just the part of the A that's coming in. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Then we are going to hit option. I didn't say that the first time, but option plus click and drag to duplicate the new one as well. We're gonna come up here. We're gonna turn off glow. We're going to have face be back to white which honestly, I love how that looks right there with just the white and the glow behind. Looks really sick. And we are going to actually turn the mask uh, back to invert. And we're going to have the whole A 
the shelling, so we'll just mask out the rest of these texts uh, for this one, because then again, ultimately, this top text is going to be the final thing that sticks around. So now that we have our three layers here, we can see we go from the original pillar to the bloomed out glowing A part to the final A. And again, we just need to add some cross dissolves and that's pretty much all we need to do for final cuts. So let's go over to dissolves. Let's add cross dissolves on all of these because I think that's gonna look really nice. So cross dissolves on all, I comes in, a blinks in and then the regular A comes in on top. Now we need to shorten the length of the turquoise clip and the bottom clip so that the regular A can come in on top of everything. Let's see how this looks like that. Bam, comes in. There's the A. The only thing, I think I want this to be a little faster and I think I want this to be faster as well so that these kind of do like a quick yeah, I think that looks better. I think I'm gonna also just in general make this a faster transition. So let's do that. Yeah, okay. Maybe not quite that fast. Let's do more of, more on the front, less on the back, I think is what I want here. Kind of a, yep, perfect. Okay, I think that looks really good. Let's watch it at full screen. And again, it's not 100% perfect, but one thing I don't love about Final Cut masks is that harsh line that we're getting. Fusion and DaVinci doesn't do that. We'll show you guys in a second, but that is the alien title uh, right there in Final Cut, and I would just do that for all of the letters. So two big thumbs up there. Let's now go over to DaVinci Resolve and show you guys how I would do this in DaVinci. Let's hop over to a new timeline and let's find a fusion composition, which is what we want here. Make that about 16 seconds. Now R is my hotkey to open up fusion, um, or you can hit the fusion button down here. Let's do the exact same thing that we did before. So let's drag a background node down here and change that to media out. If you're not familiar with fusion, fusion is very daunting. Again, guys, there's so much to learn here. I'm not very good at it, but I know some of the basics. In general, in fusion, as you add layers and or as you add nodes, down from left to right kind of think of it like layers where you're adding stuff on top of each other again it doesn't have to be that way which is the beauty of nodes you can have nodes doing all kinds of crazy stuff and it's really easy and atomic to change things uh, but for simple stuff think about it like that as you add merge nodes and add layers it's kind of like adding layers in Final Cut or Premiere or something like that. So with our background, let's now do one of those merge nodes. So we add a merge node, which is like saying, hey, I want to add a layer and let's drag down a text and drag it into that merge node. Let's do alien. Let's find that font and let's increase the size and the tracking and we are back off to where we want to be for this to start. Now, very similar to what we did before in Final Cut, it's just with nodes, super easy. So let's do a polygon on this text, let's invert it so that I can see what I'm doing here, and let's cut out the A, which is looking very nice. So that's our good start. Let's drag over all three of these nodes and select them and hit Command C to copy, Command V to paste, drag this merge into this merge, drag that merge into out, and let's invert the polygon, change our ellipse to be only the A, and this text will do the same thing. We'll change it to a nice turquoise color, which looks really good. And to really give it kind of that 80s feel, we're gonna add the glow like we did before, but it's a specific node. Um, really like how that looks. And I'm actually going to add some grain to this as well. I think it's just gonna add that kind of nice 80s look. So that right there is looking really nice. And then same thing, we're gonna just copy and paste all of those nodes that we just made downstream. We're gonna drag this merge into this merge, this merge into out. We are going to change the polygon to just be the A again. We're going to delete the glow because we don't want the glow and we are going to change the color back to white. So as you can see here, very much like we had in Final Cut, we've got kind of the final set of layers and now we just need to do the animation. So we're gonna go back to the beginning, 
we're going to go to the merge nodes. So merge nodes control the opacity similar to our dissolves we're doing in the layer based system. So we're gonna go to the first node, we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna turn the blend all the way down to zero, make a keyframe. We're gonna do this for all of them so that they all start at nothing. Perfect. And then the first one, let's have it come in, I don't know, about a second long. So let's do that. Um, we can open up our spline editor and we can turn all of these off and we can go just to our merge blend. And let's see, that's not the right one. Where's merge one? Here we go, right here. And we can make it fit to size. So now I can fit here. I can hit command A to select them all and we can ease in those keyframes. We get a really nice pillar fade on like we have in the alien movies. So then from here, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna to go to merge one, one, set a keyframe, I don't know, a little bit after the first animation. And then I think we're gonna go relatively slow here on bringing it up. And then we'll go relatively quick to bringing it back down. And then at about that time for merge one, 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 so the big overall final A turning to white, we're going to have that once it's down be here and pretty quickly we're gonna have this be a short animation where we'll have it start there so you get kind of this and I think that that's almost perfect but I do want to drag out so let's go to merge one one I do want to drag out this keyframe to be a little bit slower it's still not quite perfect but I think you get the idea here is the final result I think it turned out great Well guys, what did you think? Did you like this video? Did you like the final result? Leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and if you are a dorky daddy, fellow dorky daddy, hit that subscribe button or consider also becoming a member. Members get extra videos every single Monday. Nerdiest of the bunch, we love our members. Thank you members for supporting the channel. And I will see you in the next one later. Stay dorky.